How's it going everybody? You're at the Ferris for Fitness YouTube channel and today is the start of a new series called Nutrition and Health Myths. Now I think this is going to be something pretty cool, something new that I'll bring to YouTube that I don't see a lot of other channels doing. Um, I'm going to forewarn some of the more advanced people, if you're kind of an advanced person when it comes to your knowledge on exercise or nutrition, this may be a little elementary for you. Um, I'm trying to hit the demographic I'm trying to hit here is kind of the novices, the, the beginners who are just kind of getting into exercise, nutrition, and they have a lot of the kind of the myths stuck in their head about, again, about exercise, nutrition, and again, just kind of some frequently asked questions, uh, some frequently misinterpreted data, some scientific data, I'll get into that. Uh, so I'll, this is going to be a series, it's probably going to end up being pretty long. I have quite a few topics I wanted to cover, I really didn't know where to start, so I just picked one. Um, but they will most likely fall into the category of either exercise or nutrition, uh, but I'll probably just mash it all together and go on with episode one, episode two, episode three, etc. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to keep the videos as short as possible. Um, like most of my other videos, I'll probably post um, research and studies that I, I cite that I'm talking about in the description box below if they're necessary. And with that, let's get to the first topic. So. If you read the title of the video, of course, the first topic I'm talking about today is will gaining muscle speed up my metabolism? Now, if you just talk to someone who's typically in the, the health field, they'll probably tell you that, yeah, you know, putting on 5, 10 pounds of muscle is going to help you, you know, burn calories because muscle burns more calories and fat and we should all, you know, put on some muscle because it'll help us get leaner. So I'll kind of start from, from the end and work my way to the beginning. So to start off, it is true that a pound of muscle tissue or equal amounts of muscle and fat, the muscle tissue will burn more calories at rest than the fat tissue. So I'm not, dispute, I'm not um, disputing that claim at all. That is a fact. Um, but I'm also going to tell you how it's really not relevant. Again, with a lot of these myths, the way they start is pretty much a, a small truth that just kind of gets misinterpreted and gets knocked down the road many times and f a few years later you have a full-blown pretty much lie about this little data that came out. So um, we're going to present the data for you guys and you decide if you think it's beneficial um, as far as increasing your metabolism to have muscle on your frame. So in a 2001 study, I'll even look to make sure I get it right. Current Opinion in Clinical Nutrition and Metabolic Care, 2001 study. That is the study that I'm talking about here. I'll cite it below in the description box if I can find it. Should be able to. Anyways, they actually measured how many calories a pound of muscle burned at rest compared to a pound of fat tissue at rest. And again, like I said before, they came up with the conclusion that a pound of muscle tissue burns more calories than a pound of fat. But, and here's the big but, I'll give you the exact numbers or approximate numbers they gave. A pound of fat tissue burns about two calories per day. So one pound of fat tissue burns two calories per day. Now, one pound of muscle tissue burns six calories per day. So you might think of that just really quickly and say, oh, well, that's three times as many calories. It's a big deal. It might have a significant effect on me losing weight or me burning calories, whatever. But when you take a step back, and I'll even give you the example, the exact example they gave in the book, you kind of realize how in insignificant an increase this is. So they gave a pretty extreme example that most likely will not happen to anyone, and it still was pretty, you know, not, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to have any effect. Uh, for the most part. So if you were to take a person and, t and take 20 pounds of fat off of them and then replace that 20 pounds of fat with 20 pounds of muscle. So they would essentially weigh the same but you know a big uh, big development in their body composition of course. You would increase their BMR or how many the calories they burn through the exchange of fat to muscle by about 80 calories a day. So, you know, 80 calories a day is, is pretty insignificant if you know, you know anything about food. You know, you can eat 
piece of bread, a, a banana, you know, anything, any small item of food is going to uh, equal 80 calories. You know, you can consume 500 calories pretty pretty quickly. So, and again, that's it. That's with an extreme example. That would be losing 20 pounds of pure fat and then putting on 20 pounds of pure muscle. Realistically, that would take several years um, unless you just started off training or you have really supreme genetics. So, uh, that's those are the facts, guys. Again, I'll just I'll review it real quick again. They found that one pound of fat tissue burns approximately two calories per day, and that one pound of muscle tissue burns about six calories a day. When you put this in context with how much extra muscle you'd actually need to carry, it would be it'd be astronomical to to make a significant difference in in metabolism or or weight loss or anything like that. So again, there are a lot of benefits. This isn't a, a hatred on building muscle at all. It's just a um, presenting the facts on on the myth that putting on a little bit of muscle is actually going to speed up your metabolism. You know, there's plenty of, of benefits for you know strength tra- or resistance training and having muscle. You know, I'll get to those probably in later videos. Or you can look them up yourselves. Um, but gaining muscle tissue to speed up your metabolism is simply not one of those reasons uh, to do it. So that's the the first episode of this of this series, guys. Again, I wanted to keep these pretty short and sweet. Um, just kind of hit the the novices out there with the with the knowledge, and I'll probably have some more information coming soon on on kind of the more of the advanced stuff. So if you like this series, again, it's just to kind of starting off, and I kind of have some bigger ambitions for it. It's kind of knocking out the the small myths and the frequently asked questions I get um, from time to time. So if you like the series, make sure you like the video. Um, you know, comments, positive or negative, in the in the comment section below. And that's it, guys. I hope you're working hard, and I'll talk to you guys later.